Yo, <laughs> welcome to the video guys. Today we're gonna talk about something really interesting and yes, I did get a haircut. I had to do it because uh, my hair was going all over the place and it's really uncomfortable to sleep in the same uh, dirty pillow every day. It's just, you need to have short hair so you grease, you know, the, the hair turns greasy and stuff. So uh, anyway, I just wanna make a video on how I am no, my, my plan to survive homelessness and what I do and how I survive. This is just a video for those of you that ever, hopefully none of you ever have to go through this, but if you're going through homelessness or have you, or you, mm, you want to like be aware of what it's like to be homeless, uh, you know, I, I just want to show you guys what I'm doing to survive and how I'm doing it. To be honest, I, I am extremely lucky that I am essentially what I call pseudo homeless. I'm not really truly homeless because first of all, I do have like parents i mean they're they kick me out obviously but if i ever do need them they'll be there i know some people don't have that second i don't have any addictions any diseases or anything like that you know i don't have like an alcohol addiction or a drug addiction or anything like that i know some people that do have that and like their body just craves it and it, when they see that they just lose their you know they just lose control which is something horrifying to me man like it just scares the crap out of me uh Third, I don't have like any criminal record. I don't have like an eviction or, or like I don't have bankruptcy or anything like that because I'm only 24. How, how, what am I gonna get? You know, I, I don't have any of that. And fourth, I, I, I have education. I have experience. Not with homelessness, but I have lived in my car before. I have had to try, drive around because I, I, I drove around in my car and slept in there and I. I found ways to make money that doing that without having to like, you know, go and get food stamps or or go to like shelters and stuff like that. So I don't have the poverty mindset some people might have. And I, one thing I want to get across is that I think homelessness I think is a state of mind, because if if I say the majority of these homeless people like they sat down and they truly came up with an intelligent plan on how they plan to escape it, I bet I bet the majority would escape, because if you live in a first world country like America you have no excuse to be homeless. And uh, I know it's gonna sound like, oh, but you don't know what they are, you don't, you're not sick, you're not stupid. I know guys, but like, it's just, it's hard to see the options in this country and be like, ah, oh, yes, I have no options. I'm gonna be homeless. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna hate the world. I'm gonna be miserable. No, you have so many options if you're in America. If, if, I don't know if you're like, maybe if you're in Europe or, or France or something like that. I, I, I don't know what's over there. I don't know if you're, what things are in UK. But for America, people that live in this country, like you guys, you guys have no, there's no reason to be homeless. And I mean, this is coming from the perspective of the, the benefits that I have. Like, listen, I, I have a car that most homeless people don't have a car, right? Although uh, there's a bunch of them to do. Uh, you know, I, I, I have parents, I have friends. I'm not by myself. I don't have any like addictions, like I said, you know. So I have advantages that homeless people usually don't have. But I still think that with the, a good mindset and a good plan, you can't escape this and hopefully never get back into this because I, I feel like, you know, it humbles you to be homeless because right now I'm like, oh yeah, I'm talking about all this shit, but like, it, it you know, it humbles me. I feel I feel humbled that I have had to sleep three days in a row in my car, man. And I, every day, like, oh, it just hits you like a thunder, but I, I go to the McDonald's uh, with my DoorDash bag because, you know, if I go looking like a homeless person, they think it'll just kick me out. But if I go with my little delivery bag, and they think I'm going there with a purpose and I just go to the bathroom and I clean my face. I go to like the truck stops and I shower, you know, stuff like that, you know. Uh, but yeah, this is my strategy to surviving homelessness and what I'm doing. So uh, just let's just start with the first things first. First, you need to write where you are and where you want to be. So you have to come up with a plan. And once you do that, you can finally start like seeing, okay, phase one. Get the car, get the income, blah, blah, blah. This is how much I made, this is how much I spent, this is my leftover, what am I gonna do with this leftover? I'm going to save up for a apartment. Oh, I, I have an eviction, okay. You gotta factor that in, what am I gonna do? Can I get a roommate? You have to really look at your specifics. I mean, because I'm so young, I don't really know what it's like to have like delinquencies in your credit or anything like that. I don't have any of that, so I can't really help you if you have that, but Honestly, guys, just just be motivated. You, there's places you can even get free food here in this country. If you live in America, you can get like you go to churches and they give you free food. Heck, you can even talk to like go to the go to like those places where you like. Um, I think some places give you free food. If you if you can't afford a haircut, like go to a barber shop and say, hey, can you guys give me a haircut for free? I'll use it to your students so they can teach you. You know, uh, you can donate plasma. You can donate blood. You can donate. Things I can't say on YouTube. <laughs> no, 
you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, you, there's so many options you could do, but the, the first thing is you gotta work on your appearance. Like that's uh, I should say that in the first one, but like try to make yourself look good because if you look scraggy, if you look like weird, if you have like one eye bigger than the other, and you you look like you I don't know like you fought a bear and lost, you know you, you're not you're not gonna you're gonna scare people off. You you can't scare people off. And uh, it's appearance is very important. Uh, even if you're homeless, you look at me. I'm homeless, but look at me. I'm dressing like a normal person. I, I look. I walk around. I walk around with my delivery bag, and I do hi, hello, blah blah blah. I look completely normal. Little than no, look. I sleep in my freaking car, dude. And there's there's. I'm not the only one. Dude. There's so many people in this in this country that sleep in their car. Some some are living on purpose. Some are don't don't. Uh, some people have families, which is just freaking horrifying to me man it's just, it just gives the crap out of me to be honest so um yeah i got my car i did it for business purposes and what is that business that i'm doing with this i am doing uh package delivery and i'm doing food delivery so you know things like doordash uber eats uh, package delivery you got amazon amazon flex you got walmart spark you got instacart you know stuff like that right and these jobs i mean nowadays i don't see how you know a homeless person can't do something to make money. I, you know, I see them like begging on the streets. I, I, this is, I think it's a state of mind, guys. I, I truly believe it's a state of mind because if you are like, if you're in a third world country, then I can, I can understand because you know, you don't have a lot of, you don't have a, a strong economy behind you, so you, you can't make money and you can't escape it. But you I mean, most of those places do give you free housing and stuff like that. So, you know, just, just gotta look at the options you have and the options you don't have and try to come up with a strategy. But I mean, I, I swear, like, if, if half of these homeless people that were begging on the streets, they sat down and they really, like, started writing what to do and what not to do, I think they would be way, way better off and they actually could find an escape route. Basically, I, I reward myself the following ways, which is one of the steps you have to reward yourself because if you just work, 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 you can tire yourself out. And reward yourself well, properly. You um, First, you reward yourself by getting food. You get good food. You know, after a hard day at work, man, nothing beats having a good meal. Even if it's fast food, which is not very healthy, but who cares, right? You don't need to care about dying when you're freaking homeless, dude. Uh, although you can go to healthy places if you're homeless. So don't, don't come up with that excuse, you know. <laughs> uh, you can rent Airbnbs, right? Now there's so many cheap Airbnbs you can rent, man. You can save so much money. Um, you can uh, do sign-up bonuses. You can do credit card churning, which I mean, I don't know if you can, you can do it because you don't have any... Uh, you don't have any credit if you're really, really, truly homeless. Uh, but <laughs> you, you might have credit. You know, you have advantage and disadvantage. You have to write them down and see what they are. Uh, but I have, I have credit cards that I did the churning strategy. Like, oh, I have a card that I, I, I signed up for it. I, I shipped it to my parents' house and they gave the card to me. That you do this for you. And if I spend five hundred dollars, they give you two hundred dollars back. That's like a sign-up bonus, right? Boom, five hundred dollars. Did I spend that on work? I spend that on work gas. I spend that on food. 200 bucks back, boom, I can stay in a nice place for uh, two or three days. Heck, if I do it properly, that's like literally a week of Airbnb for free, dude. That's just how good it is, you know? Um, so yeah, guys, you just, just look at the advantages you have and disadvantages you have. As for me, what I'm doing, I just want to make this video a little short because I've been talking for a while. As for me and my advantages, this is what I'm doing. I'm sleeping in my car. I'm working all day, every day, trying to meet my daily goal. My breaks are food making these videos which are really interesting and educational and they help me and you know, it's just a way, a good way to bend the, the stress of the day and the things that I've known and the knowledge I'm, I'm learning from being homeless and uh, it also helps me keep you know stay to a vision and keep track of the goals that I'm trying to go for but yeah guys that is how I plan to survive homelessness and hopefully those uh, little tips well I should, I should change the video title to my tips of surviving homelessness but and how I use them uh, but yeah, guys, I just want to make a short video on that. Uh, right now, I'm about to go to work back in a couple hours. I'm just taking a small break. Uh, but yeah, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're homeless, uh, let me know what you're planning to do in the comment section. I want to know your story. I want to know what you guys are doing. And hopefully, maybe we can learn from each other. That's just what I'm thinking. If you guys want to see a more in-depth video on like exactly the steps and what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, instead of me just like telling you random stuff, which uh, the reason I made this channel is because I don't want to like edit and stuff. I just want to like talk to you guys and hopefully learn from my own like uh, speech and what I do for 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 this really difficult moment in my life. Because then let's not let's not let's not lie to ourselves. This is really difficult for me, and I'm sure it's difficult for those that are going through the same thing. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, um, sorry guys. Uh, I know this video ended, but I do have one more thing that I forgot to add. Uh, for places to sleep, I, I 
this is what I do. Okay, so when I'm sleeping in the car, there's places you can actually technically sleep in. Truck stops are one of the places you can sleep in. Of course, it's really annoying with a truck going around, but um, this is not not a recommendation. But if you do like food delivery and package delivery, scout the neighborhoods and find some that are like really like really empty and try to sleep in them. You can go to churches. You can go to hospitals. I I sleep a lot in the hospitals because they just there's nobody there. You know, there's a giant parking lot. Uh, but yeah, there's plenty of places you can sleep in your car. If you don't, there's shelter or there's you're gonna have to make connections, man. You're gonna have to to go out and meet people and hopefully ask them for a place to stay. Heck, even your Airbnb host, and they'll if you're really good to them, they might actually like be okay. You know what? Well, I'll take off this listing and I'll help you out for a month. Just uh, pay me two hundred dollars a week or three hundred dollars a week. You can get those opportunities if you really really need to. Uh, but yeah, guys, I just want to make a video on uh, living situations because I forgot about that part. Uh, I'll make you. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry. <laughs> Bye.